Do you follow Green Skull AI? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> cringe. I never thought I would feel cringe from an AI video, but that that was pure cringe and I loved it. No one expected this. No one expected the, the AI cringe. I'm here for it. I never thought I could feel like this. You're the most wonderful thing that has ever happened to me. <sighs> Tell me that's not incredible. This is Google's VO3. Not only does it generate really good video, but the audio is baked in. One prompt, audio and video. It's pretty expensive to use, like a hundred bucks right now for a month for, we crunch the numbers, like 65 generations or something, which I guess isn't that bad, but the recurring fee jumps up to like 350 Canadian a month or something crazy like that. But this is insane. I spent all day putting this to the test and we're gonna go through what I made. <laughs> it's crazy. I did a few street interviews, which are going to be taking social media by storm, which is, Certainly concerning because people don't let you know they're using AI. These are pretty wacky though, and, and they are fun. Check this out. So what's your talent? Work. That was kind of neat. What are you? We are the Glars. We come from the Gamma Quadrant. Uh, I'm a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are good. I want to do a whole series on these street interviews. I'm disclosing their AI, of course, but like if you guys are into that kind of thing, I do want to have like some kind of short series using a tool like this because I have so many ideas and I think I can really do neat things. It's very good at intro hooks. Did you see this yet? Technology is crazy. Wait, stop scrolling. This is entirely AI generated. Do you believe me? While you can direct it yourself, be like, say this, I find it way more fun to be vague. A comedian tells a bad joke, for instance. So I went to a zoo and there was only one dog. It was a Shih Tzu. <laughs> that couldn't have been more accurate. That's incredible. My favorite thing about this is that a lot of these generations were exactly what I was envisioning. Exactly what I was envisioning in my head and I have very short prompts for these. I always like seeing what new AI models do with gameplay. So check this out. Seems to be inspired by Far Cry or Crisis. I don't know what's up with the reload situation at the end there. For this one, I did Halo and it looks like it's taking a lot from Titanfall, no? Minecraft. The fact that it crushes the tree like that, that's, I mean, that's crazy, dude. That's, this is, this is, this whole thing, man. This whole video, y'all are just gonna keep having your brain be melted, I swear. What's funny is how I feel about this specific tool is pretty similar to how I felt when I first got into the AI space way back during the mid-journey beta or alpha, the thing that kick-started this whole channel, this whole side career of mine, because it was so cool, it was so new, it was so fresh. I was on Discord streaming to friends, we were laughing, we were screaming. This is oddly similar to that. For this next one, I wanted to get multiplayer gameplay with communication, and this is wild. Whoops. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh man. That was hilarious. <laughs> like, come on, w what? A lot of this is genuinely worth going frame by frame because there's crazy stuff you can spot. This one has Overwatch. You got Overwatch overlay here. Overwatch overlay. Something I find funny though is if you look at the kill feed, Commander Rex, also this person who warps out of existence says, whoops. Oh man, that was hero -lee. Real. Some things just be hero -lee, no? Agent Nova Nova. <laughs> Let's do another. What was that all about? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Should have seen that coming. <laughs> This is like a mobile game ad. We've actually been seeing mobile games use ads like these more and more, which, you know, again, I just, I'm about transparency, right? Like I'm obviously pro, I'm generally pro AI. I think AI is a great tool. I, I, I even I'll admit this tool is crazy. It was inevitable and it's crazy. And uh, again, I'm on team. I don't, you, I don't think you should really hinder progress. I think certain laws need to be updated quicker, but like, you know, it's getting very hard to distinguish. I just want people to be transparent about their AI use when there's enough of it, right? Like, I don't care if you do little things here and there, but if like a whole video is using this and not telling anybody that was AI, you know, uh, I, I, you kind of have, you have an obligation. Subscribe to Green Skull AI. It's worth it. Uh, 
a few cool things about that one. I told it to start playing metal music. Eh, it didn't really <laughs> pick up there. But something really neat is, look, it uses a cyberpunk mini map and it actually walks with the character. Like, what? From a side profile, this guy might as well be angry video game nerd. So this is a game that I've really, really enjoyed and I think you should too. Uh There's obviously some weirdness there. I tried again. All those years and I still suck at this game. That's such a commercial, right? Also suck. Hey, speaking of video games, a channel staple, let's check out Glubo. No prompt, just Glubo. We got ourselves a Glubo intro, fantastic. Time for some commercials. Wait, what are all these people looking at? Where are they looking? Glubo, enter the next level. Like I said, just providing a light prompt and letting it run with it is pretty fun. Like commercial, just give me a commercial. And then I find that the most fun, way more fun than guiding it because it's chaos. Speaking of chaos, do you want to see the most crazy thing you've ever seen? An absolutely insane commercial for Blario Sisters. Blario Sisters. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that one's worth a rewatch. The floor is lava, this person explodes. Broccoli? Pizza, it's it's perfect. Again, it, surprisingly, that is near exactly what I was thinking when I when I asked for that, which is, says something about me, I guess? Duck sphere time. Of everything I generated, this one, I was most impressed by how it read my mind because it genuinely, genuinely what you're about to see is exactly what I was thinking. Like, exactly. The prompt was duck sphere, a shiny white sphere with beady black eyes and an orange duck beak mysteriously hovers across a field ominously. It's exactly what I had in mind. Seriously, that is, that is exactly what I wanted. The ominous sound, oh, it's good. Horrifying. I love the smell of AI trees. Um, whoo, whoo. Um. <laughs> Dude had no idea what to say. First time on camera, I've been there. It takes, it just takes practice. Tried some fighter jets. I wasn't really impressed with these. They're a little animated. Kind of cool though. This is one where if I was hyper specific, I'm sure I could get something really neat. There you go. That was just to, to bless your life a little bit, you know? Do you remember the movie AI with Will Smith? You know, the guy who eats spaghetti? I'll never forget the commercial for that movie with the scene of the robot smashing his hands on the table and going, I did not murder him. I wanted to replicate that vibe, but something funny happened where only the robot talked in the scene and it's somehow like more unsettling. I don't know, it's cool. I did not break the rules. It appears that you did break the rules. The two men in black people are like, this robot's nuts. My first music video, Robot Scheme, had a pretty neat fight scene between a robot and an alien. I gave it a short prompt to see how close it could get to that original vision of mine. That's pretty close. Like genuinely impressive. A lot of that definitely fit the vibe of that video where I had to do a ton of clever editing. This just kind of pulled it off. Even the alien, all I said was like menacing alien with green eyes and it, it's honestly quite similar to the one in the music video, which is cool. My friend sent me a prompt, which I knew would go kind of crazy. She wanted a cat playing with a ball of yarn that turned into the ball of yarn. And then another cat comes along and knits a new cat with the ball of yarn. I think the only way to get that to work would just be an immense amount of detailed prompting. What came out of it was it's still pretty neat because uh, it's chaos. Can we talk about how cute that first cat was, though? I just want to pet that belly, but it's a trap. There's a tool in Flow. Flow is the interface for all this, their AI video prompting tool called Scene Builder, where you can build off previous scenes to make a coherent narrative. It didn't work very well. I struggled with it a lot, probably lost a lot of credits. But what did come out was kind of cool. I wanted a low budget student filmed Star Wars ripoff. What? <laughs> 
That was something. So you can see <laughs> you can see what went wrong. For instance, I wanted box slash bag head dude to say, join the dark side, Lucas. I love that it made him go mm, hilarious and it wrote it on his mask. I also just couldn't get the stormtrooper person to speak. I tried a lot. I tried taking the helmet off. It was tough. There's a lot of jankiness to this still. The amount of times I output something that didn't have audio was upsetting. Uh, quirks to work through like this one. <laughs> It gave it bad subtitles. I'm all wadi on to the dark side, dummy. Oh yeah, right. I also asked him to dance. <laughs> it's crazy. I also accidentally prompted this without including the last scene. I'm already on the dark side, dummy. Happy accident, because that is fire. Dude looks like a mix of Tom Cruise and John Forge from Halo Wars. I'm already on the dark side, dummy. This dude looks like Starkiller. I tried anime. <laughs> well, that was a lot of chaos. Anime fight scene. <laughs> It's funny because it was just like a fighting game. It was like Tekken. You know when you haven't played a fighting game in a long time and you come across an arcade cabinet, the first thing you do is like press up, trying to like jump forward or something, and your character just jumps up and down. Visible here, which I find very funny. I asked my Discord for a prompt. I'm not even gonna tell you the prompt. Let's just sh show you the results. It's a good one. No! Lovely. Good stuff. There are definitely a lot of bugs, as I mentioned. Oftentimes, audio just won't even happen. Some things are just janky. So let's look at some weird stuff I did. There's no audio here. This this wasn't a mistake of mine. But he does say something. Spaghetti moment. Honestly, one of my worst generations. That, that's everything about that is awful. You can upload an image as the starter and frame, which is honestly very broken. I just most of the time I didn't even get audio from it. It really struggled with that. I was supposed to say spaghetti moment. I like to think this person is a mute. That's that's that makes sense then, right? I tried to get a bear to say only you can prevent forest fires and I don't know what happened there. Someone translate. I sure hope that's not offensive. Another famous test of mine, the back rooms. Oh, dude, I like AI horror. Maybe I'll do a little AI horror movie because it's just so unsettlingly weird and, and, and uncanny. I really want to make a little short film out of this just to push it, you know? Master Chief taking off his helmet. It's generally just going to be knockoff Master Chief, a green super soldier. I ran a bunch of generations to get him to speak as well. I need a weapon. I need a weapon. I need a weapon. VO3 really wants a mouth. It's really hard to get a voice without seeing a mouth. So you got to prompt specifically. I need a weapon. We did it. Let's end this off with something pretty cool looking. I wasn't being specific enough with that one. This one I used Scene Builder and it didn't work fully. I had to figure it out. I definitely needed to prompt better. The middle one didn't even have audio. A character changes, but the proof of concept of this is cool. Check this out.
VO3. Holy moly. Wow. Wowie. Uh, whoo. You let me know in the comments which of these tickled you the most because these are crazy. The world is changing at a very rapid pace. It, it just it keeps it goes. It keeps on going, man. Hello, future AI out there. Spare me, please. I'm Greenskull. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you next video.